Last night I was coming from Pade, I'm a truck from the Lord, Lord it was charcoal. Charcoal is from trees. Trees, when they are cut, they affect the environment. Some of us are busy campaigning, asking children to go plant trees. Yesterday we were urging children to plant trees. I have gone on a campaign for tree planting. I am planting trees myself, physically. If you walk the other side, you'll find new trees that have just come out. And some people have made it their trade and business to just cut trees. Just cut trees. Indiscriminately. You just find one acre, bring a power machine, and just put down trees. Sadly, not plant anything in its place. That's why it's becoming a problem. Watersheds disappear. Streams are drying out. Yes, there's a bigger problem with climate change and things like that. But those springs should be protected. And they're protected by tree cover on their watershed. But we're cutting everything down. In down this stream here, there used to be a very rare species of trees down the other side. We call it kano, which is a, a, a vegetation that is along the stream. We woke up one day and we found some young people and cut them down for chow. What do you do? And you discover later that it's all gone. You go there, kano is gone, a whole bush of them. And where these trees were, the never water never dried for the time I've been alive in this place. This year, they were, the, the river was affected. So it's a whole chain of things. But why are you going to natural vegetation? That has existed for years. Trees that have taken over 50 years to grow, and then you come, you come with a power machine and take acre by acre by acre every single day and load them in trucks and take them elsewhere. You can't pay somebody 100,000 shillings and they're excited, they go drinking and then you mow down a whole acre of trees. No. That's what I'm saying. We need to find another way of dealing with these things. There's nothing isolated. Energy supply, it doesn't reach the communities. The communities resort to trees. Power prices, the price of uh, power. Who are the greatest consumers of the trees that are cut from actually suffrage? People in Kampala. Is there electricity shortage in Kampala? No. Everybody has power in the house. But they use charcoal to cook. That charcoal is getting, they're getting they're down trees from here. So when are we going to make energy more affordable so that every household now can use electricity for, for cooking? How are we going to make major intervention and investment of government to have these people who do briquettes and things like that to replace charcoal and make them available. There are new ways people are using. How are we going to focus on this? Because when we do that, the effect is we cut down on the market of charcoal and when there's no market for charcoal, the trees stay where they are. So they're all connected. And we should have a more comprehensive global picture of our situation.